Hi there everyone. Today we are going to be doing uh, an updated tutorial from a tutorial that I did I don't know a year or so ago about getting your clothing from Marvelous Designer into Blender. Now the last tutorial that I did it was in Blender 2.79. This time we are going to be doing it in Blender 2.8. The process is still pretty much the same, but I figured that I would do an updated video just so I could showcase how you'd go about doing it inside of Blender 2.8. So what we have here today is I just have this model right here with a simple dress. Uh, it's nothing special. Uh, I have a little animation on it. If some of you have watched my live streams, you'd probably seen um, this before anyways this is just a simple dress and we are going to hop over into marvelous designer and i'm going to show you the process of how to export your clothing that you had made marvelous designer and then get it back into blender so let's go ahead and let's hop right over into marvelous designer okay guys here we are inside of marvelous designer you'll see that i just have a few simple shapes here just to make this dress um a lot of times you'll have more complex stuff and what we're trying to accomplish here is we're trying to make the retopology of your clothing easier from marvelous designer inside of blender uh like i said before in the previous video that i made a year or so ago uh this tutorial is nothing new um there's my my users that do this all the time but this is the streamline this workflow inside of blender so what we'll want to do is we will want to take our clothing and we'll just go ahead and highlight all this over here and then you'll want to go up to file export obj selected and we'll want to name this and then click on save and then here on our export options we'll want to export it as a single object unwelded thin unified UV coordinates uh, millimeters is fine we're not going to change anything about the scale and then we are just going to press OK and then you'll see that that has exported now the next thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to right click on our clothing and then we will want to reset the 2d arrangement and we will want to get the flat geometry so we are going to be using the flat geometry to retopologize so with that selected we want to go to file export obj selected and we will want to rename it and the export settings are the same i didn't change anything it's going to be single object unwelded thin unified uv coordinates millimeters and then press ok and that's all there is to exporting your stuff out of marvelous designer so this is all we're going to do inside of marvelous designer uh, i will see you back inside of blender okay guys we are back inside of blender here um i already have some of this stuff already imported inside of blender we have the full dress here and if we go ahead and we turn on wireframe view you'll see that this geometry is just a mess inside of marvelous designer um if you got the newest versions they got a remesh and they try to turn it into quads uh but it don't really work all that well and it's it's better just to leave it triangulated in my opinion so this is very high right and a lot of the times a lot of people take this and then they re-sculpt on it and things of that nature and even if you want to re-sculpt on it you'll want to go ahead and get your geometry in the quads so you could go ahead you already got the basic shapes here um and in quads it's just better for sculpt so what we're going to do here is we're going to take this full dress and we'll want to import the flat geometry here and let me go ahead and click on this flat geometry here and let me go ahead and make it flat so you'll see that we'll have the flat and then we'll have the full here and if i turn on wireframe again you'll see that this is the high poly mesh so what you'd want to do inside of blender 
is you'd want to go ahead and retopologize this. Now, retopologizing this flat mesh is way easier than retopologizing the full mesh over here. Uh, sometimes you could have some very complex things and it just takes forever doing it that way. This way you have the flat mesh and it's just as simple as adding quads to it. So you'll want to remesh or retopologize, sorry, your mesh. And once you have that done, it should look something like this. See that I have this all in quads now. So if I turn off the wireframe view and go back into solid here, you'll see that it is remeshed. So if I go into edit mode, you'll see that I went ahead and here's our flat geometry retopologized. One of the main things that you want to make sure that you do when you are retopologizing your mesh is that you want to make sure that you are watching your edge flow. You'll want to keep the same vertice count on all of your edges on any of these flat meshes that you retopologize. The reason is, is of course they're unwelded and you're going to want to merge all the vertices together again and it's a lot easier to do it if all your edges have the same vert count okay next is the process of how to get your low poly remeshed mesh to conform around your high poly mesh here so what we're going to do is we are going to come back to our high poly flat mesh this is the reason why we went ahead and we exported both of these out our high poly flat mesh here, if you can see, I have it conforming around the high poly dress itself. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this stuff here and show you how we go about doing that. So you'll have your flat high poly dress here, or flat mesh, sorry, and you'll have your high poly dress. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to click on our flat high poly mesh dress and we are going to come into the shape key section and we are going to add a shape key and we're going to make this the basis then next we are going to go ahead and click on our high poly dress and then shift click our high poly flat dress and then we're going to come to this little arrow here we're going to click on this and we're going to click join as shapes and now when we click on this flat high poly mesh you'll see that will go be able to conform our high poly flat dress to this so i'm going to go ahead and turn off my high poly dress now because we don't need it all we need is the flat high poly dress uh the reason why we exported both of them out is because we wanted to get this shape key now when we come to our remeshed fit over here you'll see that i have a modifier on here it's a surface deform modifier um, but I'm going to go ahead and click unbind from this mesh right now and I'm going to show you the process of how we get this low poly retopologized mesh to conform around this high poly and of course all you need to do is just go to add a modifier and click on surface deform and we are the target is going to be our anime dress flat and I'm going to turn this interpolation fall off all the way up to 16 and I'm going to click bind. Okay, so I left this issue in here because I noticed on some of the comments and some of the uh, personal comments that I had got, a lot of people was having issues uh, with this. Now, the reason why this is, is because we need to bind this with this, uh, with the shape key being all the way at uh, zero. To where the uh, high poly flat mesh is flat before we bind it so that that's all we have so we're going to control z all this and we are going to go ahead and click back on this high poly dress over here and come to our shape keys and let's make sure that it's zeroed out now when we come back over to our low poly mesh and we come to the surface deform modifier we will go ahead and click and we'll want to go ahead and just click on our dress flat and then now if we click bind you'll see that that issue is no longer there and we'll go ahead and click back on our high poly dress over here and come back to our shape keys and now when we turn the value up on the shape key you'll see that our low poly mesh goes ahead and deforms just like the high poly mesh 
and so if I turn on wireframe here you'll see that we got a nice low poly dress here and with very little work um, retopologizing like I said depending on how far you are into your 3d skills it shouldn't take very long at all to retopologize all these flat meshes and you'll have a nice mesh and all you'll need to do now is you'll have to come back over here into your modifiers once you're happy with this and all you'll do is just click apply and then you can come into edit mode here and you'll need to line up all your edges and you know what I mean you could just go ahead and alt M and you can merge it last and go through and do all that you could also control Z you could also highlight the whole mesh and then press alt M and then the remove doubles is gone now it's merged by distance now so you'll see that 16 vertices were merged um, you could turn up the merging distance and see what that gets you now all the not all the time does this work um, as you can tell this has turned all the geometry ugly again um, but you could test that out on your own my personal in my personal experience uh, just going through and alt aiming and merging the vertices yourself is the better way to go yeah that that's a little bit time consuming uh, but considering you just went ahead and you saved a whole bunch of time in your topology process this shouldn't have to uh, be so complicated or take so long in your process of doing that now there is another issue that um, I get questions a lot I don't have that issue inside of this dress um, but some people are getting these errors when they try to bind and it's telling them um, I forget the specific name of the error but basically it's telling them that they cannot bind due to the topology now basically what that error message that you're getting is that you have ingons inside of your uh, retoppled mesh and what you'll need to do is you'll need to go through and you'll need to make sure that you go ahead and turn them in gons in the quads if you can uh, but you cannot leave those in gons in there and once you fix those in gons and you go back and you uh, try to bind again that error will go away and it will bind perfectly for you so I think that is it guys I hope that this tutorial helped uh, in your process like I said it's it's the same process as in 2.79 I just wanted to update the video for blender 2.8 um, and happy blending guys I'll talk to you later